brother, and welcome to Mountain Dew Mania's Uncle Generic Bees 100% Organic Mod Pack Server. I think I've got that right. <laughs> uh, yes, this is a server which was provided to people uh, via Mountain Dew Mania. Uh, a small server that she was able to set up because she's a big fan of Generic B. And uh, he created this mod pack. It's a, an old 1.12 pack. And uh, she invited me to join and to help her out on her Twitch stream. So if you go and uh, follow her on Twitch, you might see me on there annoying and trolling her all the time because that's what I like to do, as well as try to help her out with as many of the mods as I can. Uh, but at the same time, I have set up my own little area here, and this is pretty much everything I have done off camera using this particular pack. Um, I'm actually showing you this now when I've just come back from holiday, mainly because I'm still debating on what to do with my Valhalla 3 playthrough because I think it's time I kind of restarted it. But at the same time, I don't particularly want to lose where I am either, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with that so yeah so you gain a little bit of a tour around my place this week and then I'll see what happens through anyone else's on the server for uh, touring their base so yes yeah, a little bit of a split so we'll see how much I can show you and what I've done on the server here so uh, first thing is I do have the ability to fly now. This is not because I have creative or anything uh, That's because in this particular mod pack they there's something called a uh, glitch armor, which is from uh, the deep learning Mod which is this little lot here and if you collect the full set of armor you can see um, And you do need the full set uh, eighty percent chance to drop matter, which is something completely different, and then flight and immunity against fall damage. But that's when you've got the bonus while full set is equipped. As it says there at the top. So it's not the best armor in the game, but it does allow for creative flight. So, and the reason why you can't see it on me here is because, luckily enough, there is the cosmetic armor, and I can show you it just like that. It's pretty cool armor. It's very, like I say, it's not the best armor in the game. Uh, as you can see here, even the chest plate only gives me like six defense and three toughness. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of here. So anyway, uh, when you do start off in this mod pack, you do get a camper van, which you can move around, pick up and move around. So uh, you can set up as you want. So uh, spawn is, somewhere up here I believe here we are this is spawn this is where everyone started and I just kind of you the maps a bit funny because uh, we've had a couple of server updates and restarts so sometimes I'm having to re-explore because journey map doesn't actually originally come with the map with the mod pack it's a different map which I don't particularly like uh, so yeah that's why it's kind of a little bit funny in places uh, but uh, yeah, I kind of made myself a way around here and found myself here. Mountain Dew Mania's base is just next door to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that she kind of followed me here without telling me. And uh, we've got Bag Bad Nagger up here, and there's also Stubby Toes, uh, one of Mountain Dew Mania's friends, uh, who is a bit of a distance away uh, I'm not entirely sure it's quite honest where she is I can't find her waypoint but yeah uh, Reek is also on the server as well uh, but I don't know where his base is uh, I don't know how much time he's actually spent in this but yeah uh, anyway uh, after that a cool rant uh, like I say I started off with a camper van and then I built uh, this it didn't originally look like this originally yeah, exactly. That's how tired I am this morning. Uh, 
Um, it did have a cobblestone roof and a uh, wooden roof, but since then I've kind of upgraded it a little bit. I've only just recently put the windows in, and I don't know if I like them, to be quite honest. Um, and if you see any of these signs, I need to get rid of them because I closed it all up for going away on holiday. Uh, just to let people know that I wasn't here. Uh, so yeah, uh, over here uh, I have a automated fisher which I have got uh, fish for days with this sort of thing. Uh, it does help when you put an enchantment fishing rod in here with unbreaking lore, mending and look of the sea. It kind of goes on forever and ever. I do like these barrels though from Ender Utilities because uh, you they kind of work like storage drawers where you can put capacity upgrades and void upgrades in them as well. I mean, you can see the little bar at the bottom and I'm not even halfway full with this and there's already over 10k worth of raw fish in it. And I'll, uh, the reason why I need a lot of fish, I don't really need, a, well, I kind of need them and whatnot, but the fish fish and the saddles are the main two things is because in this game is one of a decent mod which I'm surprised never really got continued we do have dragons uh, this is a baby uh, forest dragon which I've only just recently got uh, I have got quite a few more but they're believe it or not in a chest inside <laughs> uh, if you've watched uh, Mountain Dew Mania's twitch streams or catch up streams then you'll you've seen the rest of them uh but yeah anyway we will go inside properly now and um, on the outer side i've basically got all the farms uh i've got these flowers from the ebris dimension because there's quite a few dimensions on here um carrots potatoes sugar cane all the way around I've got some cabbage from Ebris, some normal wheat. Uh, over here we've got some emma seeds from Autumn 2, which I'm not entirely sure I need to do with them. Uh, I've also got like auto clicker machines in front of these lotus seeds, which uh, if I eat them, give me experience. Uh, a little bit of nether warp, pumpkins, melons. Uh, I need to get rid of the sign. Got some pineapples from Tropicraft, some glow shrooms, uh, got some bean sprouts, I'll show you what that does later. So, you know, all the basics, and I know the sign, I thought I played all these off. Shows how good I am. But yeah, originally you could only get up into my base via this, uh, but these days I can do elevators, so it's nice and easy. And on this side I've got all my thermal machines, as you can see, uh, and a little bit of deep learning, and uh, I've also got some plush animals as well, which I'll uh, show you how to get them, because you need to find yourself an arcade machine, in this case I've got Tetris, and I need to kind of insert a coin, I won't do it. Uh, and then you can play Tetris and then you can get some tickets and then you make yourself a prize counter and you can get yourself some prizes so yeah uh, the eggs here this is the tarantula egg from Ebrus uh, which is from the brood mother which you need to kill to actually get the infused chest plate because you need the tarantula boss trophy on top of that so that's always fun and then you got the Antelon egg as well, another boss from Ebrus, so uh, we've done that. I've got a few armors here. This side is the dragon armor set that you can collect. I'm still in the process of collecting a few of them. Not too sure what happened to my uh, wa water armor set here. Uh, but yeah, I'm also trying to find out what they actually do, like the terrier armor set here. I'm not too sure what the on it the effect does for that one but uh, yeah you can see that the water one gives you water breathing moonlight gives you night vision etc etc the aether one gives you uh, temp a temp speed boost and then over here we've got some other armor sets uh, this is the uh, armor jetpack um which is pretty cool 
I presume it gives you flight, but I'm not too sure how it works at the moment. Uh, then I've got the jaded armor set here. Uh, I believe that's from the Ebus Dimension. Uh, then I've got a nano exoskeleton, sorry, exoskeleton suit here. Uh, then this one is the Tiberium chest plate. Uh, then I've got a Scooby gear set. Uh, and then I've got this from the Ebus as well, which is a powered glider. Uh, which needs red gem blocks again something I haven't quite figured out how to use but it's there yeah, I've got it for my collection <laughs> uh, so yeah now you may be wondering what this mess is this is the simple storage network system that comes in the game instead of having a, a big massive thing basically just hook up these storage links to chests and it all goes into here and as you can see I've got loads of uh, junk and resources in here um, and things like that. Some of the stuff here does actually come with the camper van so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, you get quite a few different stuffs. Uh, then we come down here this is my simple storage network I put some spiders on top of with some item frames uh, purely to keep Mountain Domania at bay because she likes to come over here and nick my stuff and she thinks I don't know uh, But yeah, anyway uh, over here We've got some cyberware stuff which I've only just recently started getting into because we've only just really found out Where to collect some of the stuff from uh, And I'm looking into how to actually become a cyborg So that's fun and games uh, over here we've got our fryer. Now when I first started this mod pack, uh, these uh, insects and the bugs uh, are a very good starting uh, food source, mainly because they give you three hunger but 12 saturation, so it really does help when you're first starting off. Uh, these days I am on roast prime beef because they give me an instant health uh, and I can eat them at any time I want for that instant health boost, which is nice, but yeah. So if you're only just starting out, I would really recommend get yourself a fryer, get yourself some bugs, and start going through it all. Uh, we've got the vehicles mod here, which I'm kind of working out because I did make myself a... Um, not the jet ski, yeah, the what is it? It's got to be the last one. You can guarantee it's going to be the last one. Um, go on, sofa copter. Oh anyway, yeah, I've made that for a little bit of a laugh. I've actually got it in here, uh, but I couldn't really figure out how to make power for it because it runs off electricity. So hmm, something I'm working out. A uh, couple of trophy blocks, as you can see. Uh, we've got the fossils and archaeology mod in here, which allows us to create dinosaurs. But me and Mount uh, decided that we're going to try and work on that together, so I haven't really touched that at the moment. Uh, then in here is basically the remains of my um, starter RV. As you can see, that's the capsule it comes in, so uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, in here I've got some other stuff that I've been messing around with um, and I'm looking at this overlords mod which apparently you can have an army of skeletons or undead with you which is pretty cool in here I've got all my dragons uh, the dragons are actually inside the amulets here I might show you them on another one um, but for now I'm just trying to show you around my little base uh, I found a ghastly bell for my explorations. I did find what I'm calling a cannibal camp. I could be wrong if the cannibals are not. They're these weird little creatures and they seem to worship round a guy that likes to wear this mask. Now if I wear this mask and kill his little minions and grab a mask myself and I can right click on it. I can summon them and they uh, kind of work for me instead so and then all I have to do is right click them and I get the mask back and then I can put them back up on the wall uh, so pretty cool pretty cool indeed 
uh, very hard boss who shoots sun rays and everything for me. Uh, now another little mod which I'm surprised wasn't really carried on is the tiny mob farm mod. Very very cool. Uh, what you can do with these is that you actually make uh, these lassos which is an a diamond, a lead and an ender pearl. Uh, and there's different ones, different and better ones give you more resources like uh, like this wooden one cannot farm hostile mob generates loops every 50 seconds uh, but the lasso does lose durability so you go work it out now at the moment I'm at gold level which gives me generates loops every 20 seconds but the lasso has a 60% chance of losing one durability and 33% chance of losing two durability uh, but yeah all you do is like I say you make yourself a lasso you go out in the world you find a mob you right click on it with that and then you put it inside the, the farm and then like here I've got gas tears and gunpowder and all sorts of blaze rods um, this is balsam uh, then I've got blizz stuff left in here this is from an um, a zombie pig man. Uh, this is probably from uh, the cow chicken sheep creature that roams around. This is from a nagger. Not bad nagger, just a normal nagger, which is a very cool creature. I haven't got anything in that one. Um, yeah, you can see that there's uh, at least three more that I've got to upgrade. Uh, but the problem is we need to go into the end because I need some dragon's breath to upgrade to the diamond level uh, but I'm waiting for mountain Germania to be ready for it so we can go on to that way and uh, yeah you can see the emerald mob farm actually requires nether stars which isn't really a problem to get in this pack to be quite honest with and then the last one it requires a few more uh, bits and pieces in there uh, and the reason why it's not hard to get loot in this is mainly because if you do get into deep learning you basically can create an unlimited amount of resources uh, at the moment i've got some wither matter here uh, like i said i'm not going to go into how the, all of this all works um, but you can put this prismy matter in here or and there's the emeralds and i've got 64 of these and each one of them creates three nether stars uh, so you can see I've got that running and if I check in my stu simple storage which I have got a remote for uh, if I just go into nether stars you can clearly see that I've got 317 of the things <laughs> so it's not hard to get loot when you get into this so if again if you do start this pack start with this first um, it does take a bit of power but power is fairly easy to come by especially with these simple generators and start with like a culinary generator and put and again use the bugs just put the bugs in there you'll get some starting power uh, at the moment my power is actually uh, being run uh, by another unlimited source which I found out I could do which is this little lot here um, basically we've got cactus uh, being farmed very vanilla apart from uh, the sprinklers and the evacuator there uh, which is being brought into these sawmills which creates uh, this stuff which is pulped biomass which is then put into the magma crucibles to create uh, bio crude which then goes into the fashion and still to create grass olean which is then pumped into micro uh, compression dynamos here which are at signalum level at the moment uh, on this side this side i haven't fully done at the moment but all these signalum ones can output a maximum of 400 rf per tick uh, which granted isn't a right lot uh, but it's enough for what I need. I don't really go tend to go OTT with power. 
Uh, this side, these are only at reinforced level, so they're producing 240 RF a tick. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much unlimited. I don't have to worry about it now. Uh, this is a power cell from RF tools, so I can actually teleport power around, um, such as I have got it. Um, I haven't actually got it here because that actually is all manual on underground. I think it's mostly my uh, fishing net here that I've got that I can just teleport it directly to there, so it's nice and easy to do. But uh, yeah, that's my power system. Now you may have noticed what this is. Uh, this is a termite farm. Something again. If you're going to go into bugs, get one of these things. Uh, you can uh, feed it with some termite larva. All you need to do is find a termite natural farm, which I have another one over here. This is a termite mound. This is naturally spawning. Dig that up, you'll get some baby termites, fill it with a little bit of dirt, give it a redstone signal like I have done with this lever, turn it on and you get uh, quite a bit of stuff doing that. Uh, as you can see you get termite clay and termites and you can see they can be cooked in the fire. Uh, and then they will automatically rebuild. There's normally four of them, there we go, as I was saying and then uh, yeah like i say make one of them and you'll be good for food and power the only thing is you cannot automatically extract from it or at the very least i haven't found a way to do it so it's uh, a little bit of a pain not being able to do that uh, i have actually got it turned off at the moment you know what i'm gonna leave it on for a bit uh, it is a little bit annoying that i can't automatically uh, uh, extract from it but it is what it says if you know of a way you know please do let me know but I've tried hoppers I've tried thermal ducts uh, and other things uh, <laughs> it just doesn't seem to want to work uh, so yeah as you can see I've been on the server for quite some time um, probably one of the most more advanced people everything I've built I've done in survival uh, so uh, there are one or two other people on the server and with Mountain Dew Menace permission they are building in creative so we'll check out their builds at a later date I'm hoping I can actually um, get them to show me around their base so we can have a, a co-op but we'll, we'll kind of see what happens because time zones and people's commitments so we'll, we'll kind of see what happens there uh, so like I say, I'm pretty much done uh, with everything. I've got a few bits and pieces and for some reason I'll just pick up some pecker poop. It's probably from that guy there because I do have a, a magnet on me, uh, which I should really turn off. But, you know, one of those things. Uh, oh, yeah, you might have noticed my sword and my flux bow and flux uh, thing. The sword, again, is from um, Deep Learning and it does a damage of 30.5 at a speed of 1.6 so it's a decent sword um, it does learn as you attack creatures so, so it increases damage it's at maximum now and I've also enchanted it and it has looting and unbreaking and sharpness 4 so that's why it's fairly powerful I can mostly one shot everything right so uh, dimension wise uh, when you do first start you want to get into what's known as the caverns uh, and you need to find yourself an emerald now finding emeralds it seems to be very very difficult what you really need to do is search on top of the trees uh, for the pets uh, what I mean by that just in case I think they're all in here uh, yeah, you get this pet mod. You need to search for them because uh, on top of the trees you'll find a chest with those pets in them, but there may be also a chance of some emeralds. So get yourself a decent forest like I did here. Find yourself some uh, trees. I find them more on these, which is the autumn woods, but they are, can be on those. There may even be some in the sky, but when you're first starting off, that might be a bit difficult to get to. Um, and we'll see. I do have an Enderman uh, 
an Enderman, <laughs> and I am Gollum wandering around because I am. I was looking into the. Um, well, I think it's the RF mod. Yeah, RF mod syringe. But yeah, like I was saying, get yourself a forest, find yourself a chest on top, and you'll have a chance of finding some emeralds. Once you've got your first emerald, uh, make yourself a cavern portal uh, in this one, and uh, you'll find all the resources that you'll ever need. Once you've upgraded, get yourself into the uh, the diamond one, and then get yourself into the aqua one. Now, when you're doing the aqua one, I'm not going to go through, but a little bit of a tip: uh, get yourself this armor, which is the bamboo armor, which, as you can see, is water breathing, water walking, and swim speed. Uh, use this armor while you're in there. There are no hostile mobs in there as this version is anyway uh, and basically once you go in you'll find out why I recommend this I'm, like I said I'm not going to go in now uh, we've got some other dimensions that we have we have the normal uh, nether which I, I would highly recommend that you get flight uh, we have the Ebrus dimension which you've seen we also have the midnight dimension as well which I can come and go as I please the midnight dimension is why I actually have this base set at as it is because at night you will have rift portals that open up naturally and then there's these mobs that will come and grab you and try to pull you into the midnight dimension. So this is why it's kind of more of a defensive natural looking base than with all these fences and whatnot so I could work fairly easily inside so yeah but anyway uh one of the other things i've been doing because i'm pretty much finished oh yes yeah, sorry i forgot about this dimension um what's this dimension called uh i can't remember yes this is the atom dimension uh which is a uh, very sandy place to go so yeah uh when you do go into this atom dimension uh it is a wise idea to make yourself uh, some uh, torches of these side, the royal torches, which is gold and charcoal and coal. Uh, make yourself uh, four or five of them, and when you find a pyramid, you're going to need them if you want to fight the boss in there. But be warned, the boss is tough, <laughs> very, very tough. So yeah. Anyway, but like I was saying, I've like I say, I'm pretty much done with this mod pack, apart from helping out Mountain Germania, uh, and we have got some projects that we want to do, like the uh, archaeology mod and stuff like that. So to keep myself occupied, I have been doing a little bit of building, and I'm going to try and build a small city, a town, whatever. But I've started over here with the dot. Uh, so over here we've got a crane over here some of these aren't my designs uh, I think the tavern I got from a youtuber called blue nerd the same with the um, warehouse here I can't remember where I got the crane design from but yeah uh, they're not exactly my designs but they look pretty cool and they work well together but uh, yeah I kind of made the docks myself uh, they, they've come out fairly well um, there's a few things I would like to alter but I'm not too bothered at the moment uh, un they might be wondering why I've got the stairs here and another uh, armor set here that's because I kind of went underground I don't know how well this is underground underwater uh, and flattened all this lap out underneath here uh, just to make it easier for myself a little bit uh, but yeah, I've also been trying my hand at a little bit of internal work because externally I'm fairly decent at building, internally not so much. So I've kind of been messing around and I've uh, also you can see on the docks here I've got some like work things going off uh, from different dimensions as well as vanilla. So uh, I've been kind of just messing around at the moment. Uh, this is my uh, tavern which like I said I got the design from a YouTuber called Blue Nerd. A very good builder actually uh, I uh, kind of put a little bit of my own 
uh, work into it uh, and modded it up as well because we've got some atom glass here we've got some mangrove doors and we've got wall lamps and everything it is nice and like I say I've been trying my hand at internal so we've got kind of this thing, like you've got the reception here uh, and you've got the this pirate ship bell to call work uh, you've got a bit of a reading area and dining and we've got these McCrae's um, cups and chairs and everything and come out back and have some outside dining if you wanted um, but yeah they, um, okay, we've got the reception here with again some uh, tables and chairs and cabinets and then through here we've got the kitchen uh, and then out here we've got like the delivery area sort of thing um, and we've got sinks and ovens and all sorts um, then if we come upstairs uh, we've got some bedrooms we've got bedroom one here again very simple easy design uh, bedroom two sort of thing got uh, desk cabinets and everything here that we need and bedroom three again just a small little place uh, number four um, then we've got a little balcony here which someone left the glass out while we were looking out to see but then if you come across over here, you've got rooms four and five just upstairs. We've got a little storage underneath the storage for Harry Potter. Because he likes his understairs places, you know what he's like. Uh, then you come upstairs for another a couple of rooms. Room five, which is like a master room. And then number six again, another little master room here. And then if you want to do a little bit of reading without going downstairs, you've got that option. And right next to a little fireplace uh, and then we've got some bowels of fish which is just a bit of detail work here it like i say it's worked out quite nicely uh like i say i'm not the best at internal design again uh following instructions from that blue nerd so you know it's one of those things that you do and helps you improve your own building skills by just following what other people have done and then add your own uh kind of work to it you know because like I, like I say I've got modded here so I can add in different sort of lights instead of using torches and things like that uh, you know I've got these cabinets where blue nerd is stuck with vanilla items uh, so you can put your own little mark on it even though you are uh, following along someone else's instructions so don't be scared about following someone else's instructions that their builds are good and then hopefully in the future you'll be able to uh, do just as well as them yeah. so yeah I can, I'm kind of pleased with this uh, in on the docks um, so any sort of future plans what I have at the moment uh, I want to build another crane here and I'm thinking maybe another like warehouse here I'm not 100% sure plans change I'm building it bit by bit I'm not designing any, any, anything uh, because one of my thoughts at the moment is to actually uh, expand this out more and then maybe having another dock area around here um, but at the same token I keep thinking maybe to have the the outer wall uh, this come out to here but then the outer wall goes up with the grass and then having a lighthouse up here uh, so it's a little bit higher oh I hate rats I hate rats um, I hate them to a, a T and then over here maybe having like the harbour master build uh, but yeah it's kind of a very big work in progress like I say it's just something I'm doing just when I'm not doing my normal recording or anything like that so yeah the mobs are coming out now so we'll uh, we'll go back inside like I say I'm not invincible by any means I am not invincible uh, 
Uh, so we'll have a sleep. And we'll... Oi! You silly rat. How did you get inside here? How on earth did you get inside here? There's always one. There's always one. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think that will about do it for my area. Uh, we've gone well over 30 minutes. Uh, and I haven't shown you everything like the dragons and everything that I've collected but uh, yeah you can basically see I mean this one's now a, a fairly young adult uh, but they're all different colors and things like that uh, but yeah I might show you another them another day if you're interested let me know in the comment section and like I said we've got Mountain Jewels little base to do uh, which is mainly building up on Twitch uh, then we've got Stubby Toes um, bag, bad naggers and reeks but bag nagger and reek haven't been on the server for that long uh, so they haven't really got anything there at the moment so it's uh, mainly the uh, mounted jumanias and stubby toes areas uh, so um, yeah I think that will about do it for today I hope that you enjoyed this like I said I basically did this because I'm still debating what to do with uh, Valhalla 3 so you have to bear with me on that uh, obviously if you've got any ideas if I should restart or just carry on feel free to put that down in the comment section uh, but if you did enjoy today's little distraction then feel free to hit that like button and if you've got any comments hits hints tips or complaints feel free to put them down in this comment section below uh, but regardless thank you very much for joining me and i will see you guys next time let me take my helmet off bye